morning. How's everyone today? Hope you're well. Another day, another dollar. Uh, just heading on the A3 on the way into Fulham. Traffic's sort of a, <clears throat> a bit of a nightmare coming through Guildford, as always. Now everyone's back to normal, kids are back to school, everyone's doing the school runs and it's uh, a bit of a nightmare. <clears throat> so, uh, great. Well, the last couple of weeks has been really good. Um, the uh, Heathrow opportunity, we should be proving funding today, I'm told, which is amazing. So, um, and that is for a scheme literally I don't know, 300 yards away from the airport amazing location right next door to the Holiday Inn Hilton and basically it was a commercial office block and it's got permitted development to change a use into resi but we're going back in for change of use into micro living apartments and uh, what we've actually done we've done a concept design for 153 units so uh, amazing business opportunity we've teamed up with uh, a, a, a company who supply um, staff to all London hotels and Heathrow hotels and Gatwick hotels so it's a ready-made model you know we build out for their staff their staff get um, discounted accommodation which keep them in the uh, uh, employment for the their hotel and everyone's happy so that's amazing so we're doing that and what else what else what else excellent so we've got a church uh we're pricing up at well it's not actually a church it's the land next door to a church and it is in norwood and it's got planning for five units so currently it's out to a few subcontractors to do the structure so we, hopefully we're getting that quote back today and once that, once that quote's back in, we will be packaging up to give to the owner um, to win. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just speeding up now, so the noise may be a bit uh, building up. Um, so that is uh, in Norwood, and then we are looking at a, another property, which is a high street property, uh, a bit further along from Norwood and basically it is a commercial which we are going to try and get planning approval to convert into residential should be able to get five to six apartments hopefully nothing's nothing's you know given but you know it's going to take a little bit of time and effort and money to get the planning through but um, the clients are really lovely and we we're going to help them to get this opportunity and then once it gets planning we sort of uh, we either take it on ourselves or we help them find a buyer um, so that one's that and also generally on the day-to-day -day business we've got a hell of a lot of new contracts coming through um, the phones are really busy at the moment we're getting lots of traffic through the website um, for well we've got one come in over the weekend and it's for a very famous UK car designer <clears throat> I can't tell you who it is but this property is in Knightsbridge prime 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 location um, right on the corner of this famous road you could throw a stone to Harrods um, and um, I think it's a, it's a it's a corner property but it's made up of uh, maybe three or four apartments so we're looking at one apartment tomorrow to start off with fingers crossed because great location to stick that black hoarding outside 
thousands of people high net worth driving by every day. So I'll let you know about that one if it goes any further. Um, also, the site we're working on on the Isle of Wight, that's ticking over as well. We had a meeting with a uh, Hampshire County Councillor who heads up a team of maybe 50 uh, planners in Hampshire and uh, we had a meeting with them in Mayfair on Friday and uh, they want to support this scheme and uh, at the moment we are just working on a mini master plan and this mini master plan really consists of 250,000 square feet of residential apartments, 73 houses, 10% of the resi will be social. Uh, we have been told we got to put a little hotel and maybe some leisure, you know, maybe some lodges or so well somewhere where people can come and stay on a short period of time around this beautiful lake so yeah we're gonna go see we're going to the Isle of Wight in a couple of weeks time so uh, stand by for that one uh, what else God, there's so much going on my um, my spreadsheet of all these jobs on is just like filling up big time also, I've been given this fantastic uh, list of properties for sale in London, which are mega, mega, mega commercial deals. And it's come from a, a buddy of mine who is based in the Caribbean and uh, he heads up this global real estate company. And he's given me this list, which is scattered through of properties, uh, which are worth maybe 20 mil to 700 million. So um, I'm sort of putting my middleman hat on to see if I can bring people in who are either investors looking for London landmark real estate to purchase or potentially offering it to developers who may want these properties for the potential change of use into residential. So I'm looking at a number of different things on that but there must be 20 or 30 properties which just unbelievable unbelievable it must be a couple of billion pounds of properties on this list so uh, you know and if you know so if I find a buyer for one of these properties and you get 1% of 500 mil hallelujah that is a lottery win easy so yeah that's my life story so far it's uh, getting busy, all things are good, no dramas to report, family's well, I'm positive, I'm going, I think I'm going out on Wednesday uh, to one of my buddies' uh, parties, he, he sort of uh, promotes this uh, bar, so I'm going to go and see uh, Jason, and I'm taking a few of friends with me, which will be fun, and um, see what happens uh, but anyway that's my sort of latest update in the world of new and Nick Jeffries if you have any questions for me uh, fire them away at the bottom um, and um, if you want me to discuss certain things you know as I've said before everything's on my YouTube channel I've got any hidden 
secrets, it's all out there, my trials and tribulations, my ups, my downs, my wins, my losses, it's here, you know, because you still, I still get a lot of haters and shit off of people, um, especially, you know, from my um, past uh, business partnership with my ex um, business partner, complete and utter dickhead, complete and utter dickhead, so jealous, so jealous, you know, I don't know, what can I say, I wish you'd just crawl away under a rock somewhere and just disappear forever, but that's it, that's, that's ex-business partners, it's like going through a divorce, but karma's a good thing, it will come and bite you on the arse uh, in the future. Anyway, listen, have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. And uh, I'll catch up with everyone another day. See ya!